So that is how your weather's looking. If you're not enjoying that, it's time to dry your eyes, mate, because uh, things will warm up a bit next week. Back to you both. It's like you um, make everything so seamless, don't you? Don't think we didn't notice really. what you did. It was very, very impressive. We should have had little scorecards, shouldn't we? Did. We, 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 we were taking some. How many did we get? Weather bingo. Well, it was it was for Elton John first. There were about four, five. Okay, very good. And then you did a nod to our next guest. I certainly did. Fantastic one as well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you. You're fab. This is not a true representation of Salford, Manchester. Can I just say, I just walked in out of Salford, Manchester. And it does not look like, like like that. Well, it's raining this morning. I mean... Are you talking about the weather or actually I'm physically...? I'm talking about the weather, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that is sort of the keys. On, on a, a good sunny day. day. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> on, on a, a good day. day. That's on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we introduce you, officially? Mike Skinner's with us. Good morning to you. It's, it's good to be here. I, yeah, like, Mum, I made it. I'm on the news. Do you think your mum would be impressed? My, my mum is uh, eternally impressed. Rightly so. Yeah. You've got, we've had hits like, you'd, well, of course, we know the streets. Hits like Dry Your Eyes. I saw Matt refer to that. Um, fit, but you know it. Now, um, you've been working on something else for what, a decade. Uh, yes, yes, I've been making a film. Yes. yes. The Darker the Shadow, the Brighter the Light. This is the album as well, um, written to this new film. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I think it's really worth reminding our audience of some of your. Hits so far. Dry your eyes, mate. I know you want to make us see how much this pain hurts. So let's what where do we start, Mike? What about this movie? So you, you yeah. are not you are not uh, by trade a movie maker, but you just no. went, do you know what? Why not? Is that the idea? Um, no, I mean no one would give me the money, to be honest. It, it was supposed to cost three million pounds to make this film. And um, no one in their right mind would give me the money, so I did it myself. Yeah, so um, I made a, a film uh, on my own about nightclub DJs uh, in places like Salford, Manchester, yeah. that don't look like that. And the tale, and the tale is of a, 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 I suppose in a way, it's kind of the ordinariness of a DJ's life yes. to begin with, at least. You're, that, that's, you're, you're would that be fair? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the ordinariness of a DJ. Which yeah. a lot of people think of as being very, presumably very glamorous. You, well, like this, maybe. Yeah. But, but it's not really like this, Salford, Manchester. What is the day-to-day -day life of a DJ like? Uh, the, you have to take into account the weather as well. Yeah. How so? Uh, I mean, being a DJ is just being cold and tired most of the time. Yeah. You're painting a rather bleak picture, <laughs> if I may say. <laughs> there must be an upside to it. Um, well, you just make it look nice, like Salford, Manchester. Or sound nice. Yeah. Um, on Instagram. Yeah, well, you, you were on your phone, kind of. You were doing something. I don't know what you yeah, were no, filming just now. Yeah, I was, I was now. doing social media then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, that, is it, you constantly on that now? Um, well, we're just... Yeah, we're trying to promote this film, so I, I, t I tend to film things for Instagram. Um, the album, the new album, mm. um, and it kind of has a narrative, as most yes. of your albums do, and, yeah. and so that is reflected in the film, isn't yeah. it? Because it goes, goes through. These days, and it's quite interesting when we're talking about social media, people are on their phones, they're quick, they want to stream things, they want to listen to one thing and then they move on. Do you think people still listen to albums for that narrative? Because it's quite, almost a quite traditional... Yeah. No, um, I mean, I, th I think when, when albums are good, people listen to them. In order. In order. And, yeah. yeah, they do, they do. Um... Um, but they won't... Uh, I mean, w when I was a kid, people used to have to buy the whole CD just to listen to one song, uh, and that doesn't happen anymore. Um, no, I'm, I, I mean, I, I don't... Um, yeah, I think music is, is in a really good place, actually, um, but it's very easy to make music, which I think um, means that you, there's a lot of it. You know? do, you, do you mean now? Do you think it's easier for people now to get into the the industry because there is outlets? I mean, you can publish your own yeah. material, can't you? You can put stuff out there. Um, yeah, I think it's easy to become uh, a producer and a DJ for sure. Yeah, I mean that's why there's there's no like rock bands because it's uh, incredibly expensive. You know, like if you if you're like a normal guy who's like into music these days. 
you're you're not gonna like get a guitar and you know it's it's too expensive. So well, what was your first break? As in, what was the moment when you kind of felt like you cracked it and, and got some progress? Um, I mean, to be honest, when uh, when people started, um, when it became popular and and I I got money. Why do you well, think that it helps, became popular? It? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, really, yeah. Um, it's, um, yeah, it, 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 it was, it happened quite quickly for me, personally. But, um, yeah, it, it was, um, being a musician is, is really good fun in your 20s, I think, because everyone else is kind of that age. Well, no, unless, the, the implication of that is less fun now or not? Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, it's yeah, it's it's definitely. I think it's more fun making a film when you're 45 and in a nightclub. Because um, when you're 45 and in a nightclub, everyone is half your age, you know. So it's 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 better to make a film. Um, your lyrics, I think, um, it's fair to say they're they're rather contemporary lyrics. They they talk about what's going on around you. And that was one of the things when you first came onto the scene, so to speak, that people kind of were gravitated towards. Yeah. Do you, do you, which other lyricists do you kind of look at and go, ah, oh, you're on that kind of vein, social commentary, you know, calling stuff out? I mean, I, I, I don't really... Um... Do you listen to others or kind of pay attention to that or do you kind of think, oh, well, I'm going to kind of keep my fresh perspective? No, I mean, I, I just... Um... I'm, I'm into rap music. I, I listen to rap music a lot. Um, but no, I mean, I, I, um, I think st stories are the things that stand out for me. It's, it's not about... Um, um, yeah, there's, there's various people along the way that uh, say things in an honest way, I guess. You know, we were talking about uh, Elton John just before, Bernie Taupin. Yeah. I mean, and Legend. we often talk about crossovers of, of genres or whatever. Mm. I mean, some people might think their kind of thing they did mm. do is a million miles from what you do. I mean... Do no, you... I mean, I, I, what I love about that setup is that, um, that Bernie writes the lyrics. It's very rare in music for a person to write the lyrics. Lyrics are kind of an afterthought. Um, but and in that equation, it comes for, it, it's, the, it's the first. Well, yeah, well, it's kind of like songwriters focus on melody and chords uh, and production. And, they kind of, and, and the words are kind of like, oh, you know, let's just fill the gaps. Um, but I think you can tell with, uh, with, with Elton John that there's someone, you know, and, and that's true of country music and that, that's why I like country music. Good to see you this morning. Uh, you'll be able to get back out into that beautiful sunshine yeah, that's exactly awaiting like that you out outside. It looks exactly like that. Gang. Gang. The Street's new album, The Dark of the Shadow, The Price of the Light, is out now.